So this is my hot water return line, which comes from both sides of the house uh, down into a pipe here. It, uh, it tees into it from both sides. This is the main line that goes down. And then it goes through a one-way swing valve and then into the bottom of the tank. And what that does is it creates a natural recirculation. So the heat rises, which pushes the water uh, to circulate up through the parts of the house that needs, um, or, well, that's a far away from the tank so that you get hot water out instantaneously when you turn the hot water on rather than waiting a, a minute for it to get warm. So... In order for it to work properly, uh, it needs to be insulated and then it has to be it has to cool down. So, on the part that goes up, which should be up there, that's insulated and it's insulated all the way to this other end of the house on both ends. And then it's not insulated when it gets to about I don't know about 70% of the way back. So therefore, it causes a you can see one of the lines coming this way from the other side. It causes to cool down as it's coming back, and then it um, causes a natural recirculating motion because uh, the cold water then falls and the heat, hot water rises, so it causes the circulation. In order for it to work properly, you have to have a swing valve, which is what this is here. Now I've taken it apart because this is a, this is a swing valve right here. This is the it's just a flap that just hangs and then when the water goes through here it pushes it and it allows it to swing open and then recirculate but it's heavy so water doesn't have any real pressure on it when it's recirculating it's just a natural flow so it's not very strong so this being heavy it doesn't push as much so the water doesn't circulate as fast or as well the other problem is that this is brass and while it does not rust it it uh, oxidizes, and then you also get lime scale and calcium buildup on the uh, the hole and the pin and the, the pin that sits in here, and then it just plain doesn't move anymore. It either seizes open or it seizes closed, so therefore your hot water recirculation doesn't work anymore. Uh, so what's happening now, or what was happening, is it was stuck open, and every time you turn the hot water on, because pressure can be relieved at any point and it's obviously going to take the pass of least, least resistance. Um, with this being stuck open like this, it when you turn the hot water on, it's going to pull from the bottom of the tank as well as the top of the tank. Now, you don't, you don't want that because you don't want to pull water from the bottom of the tank. Um, you're going to have all, you have all kinds of sediment and everything that's in the bottom of the tank. And while I do purge the tank every now and then, about once a month, um, there's still lime scale and everything that builds up in there and, uh, and calcium deposit. Uh, the other thing is, is when the water comes from the bottom of the tank directly, believe it or not, it's actually colder. And uh, the reason is because the cold water fills from up here, it pushes down into the bottom of the tank and then fills from the bottom. And the reason why it does that is because when you uh, turn the hot water on, you want the hot water to come out the top of the tank here. So if you had the hot, cold water coming in the top and it just came in right here, it's going to circulate out the hot water and you're not going to get very hot water. So what's happening is it's, it goes down to the bottom and then it fills at the bottom and pushes the hot water from the bottom up. And as the hot water tank starts to get cooler as, it, as the cold water flows in, the heat will then kick on and it starts to heat it up as it goes in cold. Um, so when, you're, when it's pulling from the bottom of the tank, you're actually getting colder water. Uh, so you don't want it to pull from the bottom of the tank when you turn your hot water on the spigots or the shower or anything. It also makes it very difficult to control the temperature. So when you turn on the, um, the water, and I have one of those, uh, it's just a, a swing faucet. It's just a single handle faucet, single operation. So you move it left or right and it gets hotter or colder. Well, if you try to mix it with, you know, about the middle, and especially in the shower, it uh, it comes out cooler than it's supposed to. And then when you turn it hotter, it gets too hot. So it really it, it can only flow one way. So what has to happen is when you turn the hot water on this this valve, will get pressure pushed against it, and then it immediately close itself. So the hot water cannot flow back this way. You only want it to flow in one direction. So the purpose of this video is to show you that. 
this is not in sufficient for a hot water return line, this flap valve here, because of what it does. Now I have reamed out this hole a little bit bigger and I filed stuff down and I'm just not going to deal with it. I'm going to keep it just in case. However, um, I made a mold. I made a mold and I made a plastic flap valve. I basically copied it. You can see on the floor over there, but this actually is is one of these caps. I it was off a of great stuff can, foam can. Uh, so all I did was I chopped it up into little pieces here, right there, and then made them even smaller with a knife. I took a piece of plaster, or not a piece of plaster, I took a plaster cast of this, set it in there, let it cure, put those tiny little pieces of plastic in there, and then uh, put it in the oven for about 20 minutes, about 500 degrees. And uh, I let it sit there until the bubble stopped. It doesn't look pretty, obviously, but it will do the trick because it's an exact replica of that valve. Why did it make out of plastic? Well, that's obvious because you're not going to get lime scale buildup on plastic. It's not going to oxidize or corrode. And it's light and weight, so when the water pushes against it, it takes very little effort for the water to move it open and allow it to flow. And then when it needs to close, it will always close because it's not going to stick. Uh, it's not going to get any um, any uh, buildup on the, uh, the pin. Uh, I was looking everywhere for CPVC, and they don't really make any CPVC swing valves. You cannot use a spring-loaded valve. It will not. The water will not flow through a spring-loaded valve because there's no pressure to push it open. It has to be a free-flowing, free-moving thing, something like this. And uh, they do make a PVC swing valve that's plastic, but that's not for hot water. It's for cold water only. It has to be chlorinated. Um, and uh, CPVC is the only type of pipe you can use for hot water. Okay, so I just put my valve back together here. As you can see, it's all back together. There's the old swinger. Now, how do I know that it's working? Well, the easy way to test. I turn the hot water on. I'm going down the drain so I can hear it. Now, how do I know that that swing valve right here is actually closing when, uh, when I turn the hot water on? This is actually closed. Well, one, there's two ways to check. Two. This pipe here is not warm. It's cold. This is slightly warm. Act well, actually, it's cool now, but it was slightly warm before. This is the pipe here. Uh, this is coming from that side. This is not warm. But this pipe over here that's coming out of the hot water tank is, is like scalding hot. The copper pipe is hot. This is not. So I know it's not coming out of there. Here's my hot water valve. Everything that comes out of this tank is supposed to be coming only through this and not through the bottom of the tank. So if I close this, no water. That's just residual from the hose there, but there's no water coming out of there now. Turn it back on, and the water flows. Oh, uh, one thing I'd like to add too is that plastic valve is a much more efficient flapper because um, when it's hanging down like this inside here, plastic does what in water? It floats. So in other words, it's always open about this much inside there. That's where it's always sitting when the when that's, when the water's in there. When the water tries to flow back this back the other direction because of the inclined, the inclined angle of this, the water will naturally push it closed so that the water cannot travel back that direction when you turn the hot water on. But the good thing about the plastic is that it floats up. That means the water always is flowing. The recirculation of the hot water is working very efficiently then. Before this brass valve would only swing about this much. It wouldn't have much flow, so in other words it didn't work very well.